name this? Oh shit! You need to record oh, as well. Shit! Welcome to the shit podcast. Oh shit! Uh, welcome to the thirty-four. 44, 34th. Oh, Welcome to the 34th episode of the Sketchbook Heroes Sketchbook podcast Heroes! with me, Ilias. And me, Robert. And, and yeah, yeah, today we're going melodic. Yeah. Uh, Creativity through music. Like, yeah. we're going like to, yeah. Well, we're not musicians, but we we're enjoy music. Go on. Yeah. Sing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want your love and your love and your venue. No? Do you have to go all the way? Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, no. We're going to talk about our uh, what we listen to, what we listen to when we listen to it, and <laughs> when we listen to it when we listen to what to we listen to. What we listen to when we do the thing that yeah. we like to do. That so is our... that is as confusing as it ever could be. <clears throat> so, with so, and with that said, we are also going live. Into space. Ooh, white noise. Did I close the door? I did. So, Yay. without further ado, let's go to the Sketchbook Heroes intro. This is the best song in the world. Can you remember? We'll have to edit yeah, that song, song in. in. This <laughs> is a tribute. <laughs> <laughs> the worst this thing. Is this is the worst song, song in the world. world. <laughs> this is a tribute. That we haven't edited it yet. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah. It's super weird getting filmed when doing that. So it's, it's really you weird. You hold it back yeah. a bit. You don't I'm like it. I'm looking away all the time. Like I I don't want to see it. Sometimes so. when we touch. That's not what we listen to when we draw. See so here is intro. Woo! And we're back. Yeah. That was garbage. It was. Uh so we're setting up. We and on this episode, we'll be talking about music. Yeah. But before we do that, thank you for listening to the Sketchbook Heroes podcast. Thank you very me. much. With me, fuck that. Yeah, with oh, you. Sure. With you, <laughs> with me, and <laughs> and then this guy that <laughs> stalks me. Yeah, I'm just here. No, but we already said that. <laughs> what are we why, talking yeah. about today? Okay, <laughs> fuck it. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. No, really, guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in, uh, voting on the podcast, doing all that iTunes schnitzel skidadlugs skidadlugs that would be good yeah so schnitzel. always appreciate you guys voting for the podcast like yeah. giving us a good rating uh, because it really helps us reach you guys or the other you guys yeah all of you guys all of you uh, but yeah please rate uh, rate the podcast on your podcast it, app like share it with your friends uh, and obviously now we're doing a bit more of the YouTube stuff, so that yeah. is also very, very much appreciated. If you hit the like button, if you hit the bell, if you share, you... Um, Remember to constantly press the like button. It yes. looks like this, Yeah. but like chopped off. Yeah, so not the opposite one, because that <laughs> means... Uh, don't, don't give us like an arm. <laughs> I think if you press the, the downward one... Somebody actually comes home to you yeah, punches. and punches you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> I love saying that. It's the best name ever. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> totally, totally lost my focus. Give it up! So yeah, now uh, this is, if you listen to the previous one, you know that we are very tired now. So, so tired. we're going into overtired mode. <laughs> And uh, trying to uh, stay alive. Stay alive. It's yeah. super hot in this little cubicle. It's not very big. Yeah, very, very small, tiny, tiny cubicle. But now we have a window behind us, so it looks bigger. No, it doesn't. Kind of. But it, you can see our heads very big this time. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. last time we were here, and then the time before we were like back there, and now we're here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Synced. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, anything new you want to talk about before we dive into today's mm, No, since we're pre-recording this episode, nothing has happened <laughs> since the last What episode. What happened to the, the dolly style? Dolly style? Yeah. I went there, I held up two kids like this, they watched the show, I got shoulder pains. We're good. Nice. That sounds like an amazing weekend. It was great, and I hated all their songs. They Very were nice. garbage. And uh, yeah, if you're listening to this, I am in Finland, so this is weird. How he's he here, this? but he's in Finland. But yeah. we're releasing it today. But are he's you in dreaming? <laughs> is this reality? The world as we know it is very blah 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 blah. blah. Flat. Yes. Apparently. Apparently. New photographic evidence that Perfect. somebody photoshopped 
It was great. Proves that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, though. The flat earth. Oh, dude, dude. don't get me started. Like, why? <laughs> why? Ah, I mean, flat earth. Haven't we been through this a couple of hundred years ago? <laughs> like, I thought we finished this debate. Yeah, but apparently now there is a big, big group of people still believing but that that's because is flat. That's because stupid people use big words to explain stupid things, you know, like, and people that are not, like, as into it, they're like, oh, but he's using all those words and he seems to know what he's talking about. Yeah, he knows the fancy wordy mm -hmm. words. Yeah, exactly. Wordy words. The wordy words. It's a thing. Oh, fuck. We never talked about Rick and Morty. Uh, Didn't we? No. What like we mentioned Rick and Morty, but yeah, I mean there are new episodes coming out every week. Uh, I'm not watching them. I'm no? saving them. No, I'm, you're, I'm you're gonna binge. Binge. Nice. Yeah. I like binging. I, oh, I can't help myself. Like I get notified every time a new episode is out. So I'm Planet like, of Tattoo follows me on Instagram. Planet of Tattoo like follow you? Sketchbook Heroes actually. Oh, good, <laughs> so good, 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 good. So that is uh, me no, promoting I... the podcast. Actually, the whole last day I was wearing the Sketchbook Heroes t-shirt. I saw that. That so was good. I and you was... did a video as well I on did. Sketchbook Heroes. Yes. Account. So I do promote as much as I can. I also mention it in my interview. So it will be in the article. Uh, so if you didn't know that, yes, I will be in some sort of interview in some sort of the Danish blog thing. And uh, I mentioned the podcast because it is our life and I want more people to listen, mm -hmm. especially in Denmark. Like, I don't know if we have any Danish listeners. If you are Danish, Dansk. let us know because I don't think we have a lot of Danish people listening. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What's wrong with you guys? Yeah, but, but Danish is more us? like, a, like, you know, like when the recorder, like your batteries are running out on your freestyle and it's sort of like the sound started to drag out of it. It's a brood. Danish. Yeah. Summed it up for you. No, just go. kidding. Yeah, yeah, we like, can you make guys fun are... of them because, uh, or you guys, I guess, because you're not listening. <laughs> <laughs> like the Germans. Like but the we Germans. have Miss Ninja Cookie, though. Yeah. Uh -huh. She's part of the Germans. But she's a sketchbook hero's uh, family. So, yeah, True no, story. no offense. No, we love you all. We love you, Meli. Melini. Melini. Melini Vanilli. Melini Melini. Oh, wow. This yeah, is... We're deal de wailing Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, we have nothing new to share, <laughs> but we're going to talk about music. Yeah. And sort of... I think Baby Driver sort of... Yeah, gave it us, really influenced yeah. us to do this one. Because that was, like we said, like we really hyped it up for you guys last week. Uh, yeah, it or sucks. five minutes ago. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Um the soundtrack, apparently it wasn't really out yet, like the full soundtrack. Um, Spotify has like a, someone made a playlist that's pretty close, and it has like tons and tons of songs. Yes, and uh, iTunes has, it has the album, but there are only five six, six uh, oh. five or six songs that are uh, available right now. Uh, so I'm guessing they're going to release like the album very soon. Soonish. Uh, but yeah, that really fueled us to do, uh, like, talk about music and the importance of it. I mean, especially for us, like, we've always, like, ever since I can remember, we've mm -hmm. always had, like, our crappy mix CDs yeah, with yeah. Uh, all the different types of stuff that we always listened to while we drew. Like, when we did the whole, if we weren't watching movies and drawing, we were listening to music, obviously. And we've pretty much always had the same type of taste in music too yeah um i think now we've gone a bit more separate we're a ways. bit more separated but we still like we're not like yeah but every for me main, while, mainly it's rock but mm, i still love like almost all genres of music yeah me too i'm struggling a bit with r&b like i really hello, hello, hello. I like enjoy i that. hate that stuff and like a baby girl uh, 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 uh. I that song. Neither that I, 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 No, but I like the cheesy stuff, like, I'll make love to you. Like, that's really good. Blah, 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 you want me to. Blah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And I'll hold you tight, baby, all through the night, I'll make love to you. Not, not you. <laughs> yeah, sorry. This guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy with the red cap? Stop pointing at yourself. <laughs> yeah, <except> uh, that. <laughs> but yeah, no, I love all that shit. Like everything, I can get inspiration from a lot of different types of music. Um, That's why he's artist garbage. No, I listen to garbage. Oh, that's, that's a good. I thing. remember garbage. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, yeah, no, not going into it. 
Dude, this is the... the yeah, this, so weird. We're so tired. This is like the second episode in a row. We're like, god damn. The previous one was supposed to be short, and now this one is extending into infinite. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, just getting into it. Getting into it. So, yeah. What type of music do you listen to right now when you draw? Like, if you... Uh, uh, I have one called uh, Art Inspiration, I think, or something inspiration. Mm-hmm. Drawing Inspiration, I think. And that is just epic... Like, sort of, uh, Two Steps from Hell, if you listen to that. They just make epic, sort of, uh, heard of film it. music. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, Hans Zimmer. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. I just put it in there. And it's all just epic music to sort of keep me... You know, like, there's no singing. Mm-hmm. So I don't have to focus on the word. I can make up my own stories while they sing. Yeah. So I use that a lot for, like, when I want to get into sort of, like, a mode. I have like uh, songs from video games there as well, like because they're also very epic, like uh, nice. the Uncharted theme. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Depending on what I want to do, what kind of like mode I'm in, <laughs> then I have like one that is more like traditional Chinese music. Nice. Where they play like they can play famous songs, I think, but usually I'm trying to stick to like the more like traditional Japanese Chinese sort of stuff. Just like a playlist with that, and then I have you know like. Like a million types of rock music. Mm. A lot of I have. Um, I'm really into the White Buffalo that did the soundtrack for uh, Sons of Anarchy. Ooh. That did the end song there. Mm-hmm. Come join the murder. But he has like tons of other great songs that are way better than that one. Nice. So I really like that Americana sort of. Uh, what do you call it? Like full, like more slow rock type. It's not very slow, depending on what song. But yeah, more like classic. But rock. it's no, it is. This it's one has weird. like it's a bit more folky, uh, country ish. Mm-hmm. It's not like country, like yeah, go down the band, down down the land. It's not that type of thing. Not not that all country music is like that. No. But this one feels a bit more grown up when mm-hmm. the White Buffalo sings. He has this like really dark baritone voice. You know, like nice. oh yeah, yeah, I remember. Very good. Nice. So I really like that. So I have tons of different lists. And then I just like... I keep creating new ones. I throw songs out. Or I throw entire playlists because mm. they get old. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I listen to music like... I'm not good with Six that. hours like, a day. I, I keep so much fucking music Yeah, but so time. do I. But I fill my phone, so I have to. Yeah, same here. Because I save them as offline playlists. And yeah. it's just like you have six gigabytes of songs. Your last six gigabytes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just emptied my phone, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, I deal with that all the time. Uh, yeah, for me, it's uh, it's mainly hard rock, like more faster stuff, because mm-hmm. I like a good, fast beat to keep me going. Like, I get into the groove of drawing mm-hmm. a lot easier if I have a good, fast beat or a good mm-hmm. tempo. Yeah, same here. So, the same goes with the drum and bass stuff. Drum and bass, I just can't. Like, well, no, no, it, it has to be an acquired sort of taste, I think. Like, if you, I need if the, you haven't listened to it for yeah. a while the, or for a long time, uh, then I think it's hard to get into, yeah. especially like when we're older now, mm-hmm. old guys. The new, you know, youngster music, it's very hip and crazy. No, but I can listen to, I, I really like, uh, what do you call it? The, oh, shit, what is the Skrillex type of music? Uh, dubstep dubstep mm-hmm. I can I really like mixes of dubstep and rock mm-hmm. where they sort like there's a melody and not just like mm-hmm. it's not only that stuff but it's yeah. when they have like a song in there somewhere like that is an actual and Skrillex mix up yeah thing. exactly that's one mm-hmm. uh, there are tons of other bands that I have like the Swedish band oh shit what were they called like I'll, I'll get back to the Swedish band mm-hmm. they're really nice they haven't re- like released a full album yet but they have okay. like just a touch of that in their songs, but it's Dolly main... style. Dolly style, exactly. <laughs> Doggy style, the band yeah. for kids. No, but but yeah. I'll recommend yeah. them because they they were really good. But it's like, mm. yeah, uh, yeah. With me, I'm I'm really bad with names of artists and, Dude, and same stuff. Here. So it's on Spotify, <laughs> what I do because like if I try to think of something that I want to listen to, I can never do it. So. Um, I have iTunes, I don't have Spotify, but it works mm-hmm. pretty much the same way. But I just, like, search for drum and bass or whatever type of keyword. Yeah, like genre, yeah. Yeah, like the genre and then I get, and music. then I take a random playlist and listen to that. Because that's the best thing, because then you mm-hmm. get a lot of new mu- music and you find something, then you add it to your existing playlists and 
and so on. Like, everybody does this, I don't have to tell you. So that's what I normally do, and I do the same with the classic rock, like 70s type music. I love all that stuff. Um, so it all depends on what type of mood I'm in, of course. Uh, lately, I prefer music that I can sing to, like really geek out singing. Oh, I love uh, singing. I, I hate, like, I can't sing for shit, but I love singing, especially when I'm alone, when nobody hears me. But yeah, so just like, especially 70s type music, because that shit sticks in your brain and you like really remember lyrics. Mm -hmm. uh, so like 70s and 80s, I love that shit. So that's what I'm into right now. But we sang a lot of like 60s, 70s and 80s music oh, in yeah. schools. Oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah, mod. Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, I was supposed to send her a picture. Oops. Yeah, sorry mod. It's our old teacher. Yeah. Uh, but she used to be, or she's actually still in the band called the, 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 the Plumons. The Plumons, <laughs> yeah, the Peaches, pretty much. Yeah, and uh, they played just like yeah, sixties and seventies covers, uh, a full like a chick band, and they're mm -hmm. fucking awesome. Uh, old lady band, <laughs> I don't know what that would be. Oh, hen hen band. <laughs> the the. Pensioner. Yeah, the pensioners. She's actually in one of those. Uh, oh, really? One of those rock driving support. things. Oh, shit, really? Yeah, like a, a full on scooter thing. God damn. <laughs> yeah, so her legs are shit. Uh, but yeah, so we always played and sang those old rock. Uh, Rudy! <laughs> Rudy! Exactly. And we got to choose songs all the time. That was always fun. So fun, yes. And I still have that whole. A lot of Beatles. Pamphlet. A lot of Beatles. I think my mom has mine as well, the the, the binder with the Yeah, songs the binder with yeah. all the, the lyrics. Like 50, 60 pages. No, I think it's like up to 70, 80 pages of mm -hmm. just classics. And you need to think about that this was before internet and before you could just Google lyrics. So Yeah, some, <laughs> some are even like handwritten. Yeah, they're, and they're like yeah. all handwritten almost. Only the newer ones yeah, were yeah, printed. Yeah, like some were printed and then... Because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we actually, we were in school when they But the got printed the ones printer. are from books. They're not from the the, the computer, they're <laughs> yeah. from books. Like, someone so, actually printed them from books. Yeah, it's fucking impressive. Uh, and the funny thing is, if you read those lyrics now, you're gonna actually see that she's misheard a lot of things. So she's just writing what she thinks they're singing. So, it's pretty funny. So, sorry, Maud. I didn't mean to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the comments yeah. out. We got some comments. Oh, we got some comments. It's Troitor! No, Troitor! Uh, we just can't find our thing. But yeah, uh, obviously, if so, if I have like a crunch deadline thing, and I really need to work fast, I bring out the uh, drum and bass straight away, because drum and bass for me is perfect because it does have that fast beat that I'm always looking for, and then it has this nice, calm, melodic tune mm -hmm. just bouncing throughout the whole track, and it just I don't know. I feel some sort of harmony it just works perfectly with the way I use my pen and I draw. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, with tight deadlines, almost exclusively uh, drum and bass or slipknot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, like, my music sort of, like, I think it's all for everyone, I guess, but it's very sort of mood-related. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, like, a band that I can really recommend, and I think that I've done it before, is, like, Kaleo from... Oh, Kaleo from Iceland. I haven't heard of it. Super good. Like, they have, like, they mix a lot of, like, old type of, like, bluesy, uh, sort of, like, American-style music. But they're from Iceland, and they do it so well. Nice. And that band just, like, skyrocketed. Mm. I think they even had, they have a song in the new Logan, like, the, the Wolverine movie, the Logan. Oh, they one. do? Yeah, yeah, It's, like, when they're in the shop and they play, or in the beginning somewhere. Cool. They play a Kaleo song. Super good. Nice. So also, a good uh, Icelandic band is uh, Roiksup. <laughs> oh, Roiksup, yeah. <laughs> I fucking love that it. That was ages ago. They make me yeah. happy. But um, yeah. Do we have uh, we got we got a question from Choi Cho. What is the and question? And it was like, do you does your art change depending on what you're listening to? Yes. For me, I don't draw, like, I don't have a theme in my art. It doesn't really change. I usually draw sort of like, you know, like, the same type of art. Like, I, yeah. I have, like... It's not a style, but it's not really, like, I don't draw fantasy, and then I draw this, and then I draw sci-fi. You know, like, yeah. I don't have that thing. It doesn't really affect me in that sense. 
it's just more like for me it's more meditative to sort of listen to the music and mm. it sort of gets me I, I just want the feeling and then I use the feeling to do whatever the fuck I want yeah. you know on the paper so it doesn't really like I don't listen to fantasy music and draw fantasy that's yeah. not how it works for me but for me it does work that way it does like, I get inspired if I hear uh, I don't know it could be like uh, a line in the lyrics that really inspire me and I like um, for instance one thing that was really great was um Heart in the Cage mm -hmm. by uh, The Strokes. Epic song, if you haven't heard it, obviously. You, you have heard it. You have heard definitely, it, definitely. Yeah. But it's just cool, like, uh, Heart in the Cage. What what does that mean and how, what does that look like? Yeah. And actually, my, my colleague, Johan, we keep bringing him up. I will bring <laughs> him in for an interview at some point. Uh, he's done a really <laughs> epic uh, tradi uh, tradition. Oh, God, Art. my brain. Uh, tattoo. Uh, mm -hmm. That is an interpretation of that line on our friend uh, Julia Frey, who is a really talented singer, mm -hmm. uh, also on Spotify. Julia Frey, check her out. Uh, but it's a it's a rib cage with a heart in it, and instead of like an actual cage, the rib cage is the cage. So I don't know that that line really inspired me. So it was easy to sort of keep going with that and try to find new ways of like. Yeah, it's easy to do tattoo stuff with that yeah. line, you know. Uh, I have like five images in my head just now talking about it. So mm -hmm. just try finding uh, something like that. Or like you said, if you're listening to movie music and stuff, mm -hmm. then I would definitely go into like yeah, more fantasy stuff mm -hmm. with dragons and shit. Because, yeah, my style is all over the place. Regarding place. fantasy music, or like epic like film scores. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. One advice that I have for you guys is like, Put on, you know, like, epic music, like Two Steps From Hell or something similar. Just, like, make a radio out of it mm -hmm. uh, if you have Spotify. And it'll recommend a lot of good stuff. Uh, and then you just walk, like, walk to work listening to that music. And you're going to feel like you're a fucking Avenger or something on your way <laughs> to save yeah. the world or something. Mm -hmm. And you're not. The epicness. Yeah, it's something about it, like, I'm gonna cross the street, and you just walk, and you have this, like, <laughs> do, do, shh, do, 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 do. you know, you're just crossing the road, but it feels like you have a mission, but then you go to work, you know, you do your thing, but it feels like there's something going on, you know, it's just like that epicness of the, like, that music has the power to sort of transport you into, a like, I don't know, like a... Well, like another dim dimension. Uh, yeah. Bringing it back to Baby Driver again, uh, mm -hmm. and it's, it's not spoilers, but the way he moved with the music in the beginning. Oh, that was I love that's that. sort of what I do when I'm really like I'm in, if I'm in a really good mood and I'm hearing a good song, I'm gonna be same moving here. the same way. So you're like dancing through the street, but mm -hmm. like listening to the song and like no, no moving, I, uh, crisscrossing between people and like. Well, that's a thing. Yeah, that's a I thing as that. well. I, I love moving it. in between people, like when I have music mm -hmm. on, and it's like. Like, oh shit, what song was that? Like, you know, some days you just come out, like, you're walking out of your sort of, like, the apartment building. Mm -hmm. And just when you're about to, like, you open the door and you just, the, the track changes and it's that song, you yeah. know, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just clicks. The sun is out. You just, like, you have this flow and you just, like, oh, man, that feeling is mm -hmm. so good. Yeah. You know, like, let's say it's been, like, spring and you just, like, it hits summer that day, you know, like, yeah. you, you feel that switch, and the music is, like, on, like, on its A-game, and yeah. it's just, like, I'm walking on sunshine. It could be that song. <laughs> yeah, that's for me. Like, and actually, I love that that's stuff. another thing that I do. I can get really, like, like we talked about, like, I have a hard time with R&B. That being said, I can, lis I can listen to, like, a lot of cheesy music, even. Mm. As long as it sort of speaks to me, I don't really care. Like, when I work out, I don't care what genre the song is. No. As long as it has something that sort of, like, pushes me, you know. Mm. Then I don't care if it's fucking pop music, if it's, you know, Dolly style or whatever <laughs> the fuck they were. I, uh, I need to check these girls out. I don't remember any songs. Dude. It's like Justin Bieber. I know that he exists, but I don't know the songs. No. And everyone's like, baby, 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 baby. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. It's, it's a baby. Yeah, baby. Uh, but... I get stuck on songs. Mm. Like, I had a Lana Del Rey song. I don't remember what it was called, but I just listened to that song over mm -hmm. and over and over and over. This song that goes on the radio right now. Oh, shit. I don't know what her name is. 
I heard it with my daughter. I don't listen to radio. No, no, but I, I do sometimes in the car when I don't connect my phone, like short drives. Uh, but it's Julia Michaels uh, issues. Okay, Julia I'm Michaels. I'm jealous. I'm overzealous. When I'm down, I just wiggle down. When I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. I will check it out. But that song, it's not my type of music. But I just like something about the melody mm -hmm. was just like, and she does. I love falsettos, mm -hmm. like good falsettos. Mm -hmm. I love, and she has that. Like she gets really high, and that sort of works for me. So I just like I just loop that song mm -hmm. until I destroy it, and then I leave it. But you know, like I use everything. I don't care if people think it sucks. I don't care. Yeah, like I'm, I'm not at the at that age where I would sort of give a shit where people think like oh you listen to Julia Michaels <laughs> no and you know like, I don't we're, care we're past all that we're way past that yeah. it's like I hate Green Day mm. but I won't judge people listening to Green Day no <laughs> we always bring <laughs> every time we talk music it's like, like fucking Green Day uh, and today Green Day played American Idiot on my Spotify oh, radio and I was like mother fuck. fucker I hate that song yeah uh, so yeah I don't really care as long as I'm getting something out of it. I will listen to that song. Yeah. Because I know it's not something I'm going to put on a playlist. So I'm just going to make it its own thing and yeah. just listen to it until I get tired of it and get it out of my system. But while I do that, it's giving me something. So I'm going to use that, you know. Yeah. Because with the access that we have today to social media and, oh shit, mm -hmm. and music, you sort of run, th like you, you, you have this access that you never had before. Yeah. So... It, you really have to sort of take the opportunity to listen to a bit of everything. Yeah. Because otherwise, you, you, you have your five favorite bands. Yeah. And, and you, in a week, they're all boring. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. And that's why I have, like, my playlists. I only have three playlists right now. Mm -hmm. One is, uh, it's more like chill out. I love uh, chill out. Uh, chill hop. It's a <laughs> genre. I love that. I love that. <laughs> that, uh, that I'm getting into more and more. Mm -hmm. And it's, just melodic hip hop beats mm -hmm. that go like it's super chill. Uh, if you're not like stressed it. and stuff, if you just want to work like nice and slow, mm -hmm. I recommend it. Or trip hop, same sort of thing. Uh, so I have one like that. I have one that is uh, pure hip hop, more old school stuff because I need inspiration for the breakdance things. Uh, so I enjoy that. And then I have the. The lift the pen playlist. Oh, which I is. love that one. <laughs> lift the pen playlist, dude. That was yeah. genius. Uh, but that one is the one where all the really hard rock music and uh, drum and bass stuff and everything that I need. Oh, shit. See, getting too excited. Punching things. Uh, but yeah, all those fast things that like really yeah, yeah, help yeah. me push through uh, deadlines and shit mm -hmm. like that. Or if I'm sitting with a blank piece of paper. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, push that on and you're like, fuck it. Rah! And you just rip that paper I like that. Go eat hamburgers. It really helps me as well. If I've seen a movie with like we did with Baby Driver, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but the movie Southpaw, it has that Eminem song. Oh yeah. What was it? Uh, not afraid. Not afraid, and uh, we were. Was it not afraid? Ah oh, shit! Fuck it. Yeah. Southpaw, the movie. It's a boxing movie. Very good. Like. But it has good. a really good score, mm. and you know, like people that train on that level have this fucking dedication. Uh, that is beyond this world, you know. Like it's that. It's a movie about a boxer. It's a movie about a boxer. Yeah. yeah, but the soundtrack is crazy good. Same thing with the 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 Cinderella Man that Eminem did. Mm -hmm. That song, you know, like for me, that's prepping. That like when I hear that song, I can use it at the gym. I can use it like if I want to get shit done on my way to somewhere. You know, like I I use that song. Just to like lift the pen for you. Mm -hmm. That song is like if I'm gonna do a really heavy lift, I'll put that song on because it has that prep time. Yeah. And then you can still use the song to do the actual lift as right. well. Yeah. But it's like some songs have that impact on you, you know, like. Yeah, for me, it's the blister exists with really? the Slipknot. Yeah, it's it's one of those like seriously, if if it was like. Well, I have to jump through this window. <laughs> oh. And it's like, okay, just listen to that fucking song and go. <laughs> uh, like, it was perfect, like, back in the day when I, we were skateboarding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I did one skateboard competition that was so fucking nervous. <laughs> I was going to miss everything. I just, boop, popped that on and it's just go time. Mm -hmm. Like, there was no, no regretting anything. <laughs> it's just like, I'm going to break all my legs. I don't care. It's okay. 
so that's my song. Cool. The Blister Exist. I think I have like I have a slow song, a Battle Born by oh shit, what are they called? Ooh. Uh, Five Finger Death Punch? Yeah. Is that what they're called? Yeah. I think they have a song called Battleborn. It's not a very fast song. The bass player has my drawing. Yeah. Oh, is that the band? Yeah. That, oh, yeah. motherfucker. So uh, my dad knows them. But I have a couple of songs cool. that I like from them, but that song is, you know, like, when I'm really tired at the gym, for example, mm -hmm. but I still have, like, tons of pull-ups to do and dips and, you know, like, I have that song on... Because I... By by the end of my sort of routine, I'm pretty fatigued, mm. but I can still work out. Yeah, you but still the have tempo, little... But the tempo sort of changes. Yeah. So I, I'm not trying to do anything fast, but I want to be like strong and controlled. And listening to Battleborn sort of really helps me just like pull myself mm -hmm. up without punching you in the face. <laughs> just like going up slowly, going back, you know, and then just like, and that music, you know, like, it's yeah, it so pushes good. You, yeah, you it's know? just like you do them slowly, but you do them and that... It triggers something, you know. It's so cool, like, because, I mean, obviously, this is all unscripted, and we, we started talking what? about this. this is unscripted? <laughs> we started talking about this earlier, and and we were like, no, 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 pause it. Like, uh, let's save save this for the actual podcast. But it's crazy how much we use music, or, yeah. I mean, we can only talk for ourselves. Uh, I'm guessing a lot of people do this, mm -hmm. or almost everybody uh, but it's just so amazing what a fucking impact and how much music helps. Mm -hmm. Like, without music, I would never be where I am today. Not a fucking chance. Mm -hmm. Like, it's helped me elevate my drawing skill or training and everything. It's such a big part of my life. Definitely. Insane. So I don't know, like, I know there are people out there like, I don't like music. Oh, dude, I don't understand. How? That is beyond is that me. That is impossible? fucking beyond me. Like, when I work, I, I want to have quiet. Like, I could not do that. No. I don't want to hear, like, big, grown men or women <sighs> farting and grunting. Where the and fuck are you doing? The, yeah, 24 <laughs> sevens. That's good. <laughs> I, I meant the gym. But oh, yeah. okay, at yeah, the gym. Drawing, yeah, drawing, same Dude, thing. At the gym, commercial gyms have soundtracks on. I was, like, I was going to lift, like, I was trying to beat a record on, like, shoulder press. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I'll sing a latest, I'll sing a latest, I'll sing a latest. <laughs> You're beating it, man. Beat and, it. And then the <laughs> other the other time, I was doing, like, bench. And I was training with Nico, our mm -hmm. friend. Mm -hmm. And he's from Chile. And they started playing this Papa Americano. <laughs> I started laughing because I saw his face. <laughs> and it was just, like, hydraulic. Because <laughs> when you start laughing when you're lifting. Yeah, that's... Like, I even tensed up so much that it's sort of, like... You know, like, I strained my neck. <laughs> you pop a vein. Oh, man, it was terrible. Like, having bad music, I remember uh, Lady Gaga's, that first song that she got, that I sang before, like, nah, Bad Romance. Bad Romance, yeah. yeah. Uh, that song was playing a lot at the gym mm -hmm. when I was um, training with Prakash as well. Like, insane how, like, every day we were at the gym together, mm -hmm. they played it twice. Nice. Like, on the same fucking session. You know, like, six songs, and then that song came back on. The song's so nice, they play it twice. Twice, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, then we got a question from... from uh, no, 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 it was rookie, rookie Tune, one of our long listeners, long-time listeners. Thanks, uh, buddy. Dude, super appreciated. Uh, I've been listening to Buster Rhymes all day, and his energy and vocal versatility makes me mad, amped, and ready to accompli accomplish shit. Yeah, see, that's perfect. That is exactly how I would describe it as well. Like, Eminem, for me, is n it's not an artist that I listen to on no. any day. But when it comes to working out, that anger, I can transfer it to me yeah. as well. That's why I love the song Cinderella Man that I talked mm -hmm. about. That's mm -hmm. Eminem. And when it comes to doing, getting shit done and being a little mad helps me lift things it oh, helps yeah. me do shit oh you need that it just amps my own anger you know mm -hmm. or like m motivation I, I can find a lot of usefulness in anger yeah although i'm not angry all the time you know <laughs> i think it's funny my mom likes eminem so what? she's actually bought his cds i don't listen to eminem that much because i don't know there's something a few of his songs are really fucking epic but then most of them are just like mundane or yeah i, I don't, don't get much from them uh because I'm more into the the more old school type hip hop, so like hearing what's it called trap or uh, this new type of hip hop thing that's uh, I don't know the blinkity blonkity blink hip hop music. Blinkity blonks. Like, 
I do feel like an old man now talking about this, but yeah, I, I want hip hop songs with a good clean beat that I could actually dance to, because obviously I'm an old break dancer, so fucking I need a beat. Hey, Dude, okay, what the fuck? What? What are you doing? Uh, I actually <laughs> really loved like something that got me really inspired and happy back in the day was Fallout Boy. Oh yeah, they had this like mix good energy right like, good energy yeah 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 and the songs had like they varied a lot yeah and, and so great vocals good. dude great vocals yeah he's got a great like range i think i love their I heard uh, him live have you heard the the remake of what was the michael jackson song was it oh yes yeah. that is beat actually it. beat it yeah mm, man fuck. i trained to that song for so ages good. yeah i haven't heard that song in ages but yeah actually i'm gonna listen <laughs> to fall out boy there you go Blinkity blonkity. <laughs> Thank you for your great feedback, Bokeh. Yay. If, if you're not following Bokeh, go do it. Go do it on the YouTube thing. She has awesome videos. And blinkity blonk. And blinkity blonkity. Fuck yeah. Uh, but yeah, oh, I never got that cat, Bokeh. Fuck, I missed it. Yeah. It was really cool. I saw, you know, and. and Check out Neil Breen. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you can see, like, if you go to a tattoo shop, sometimes they have these, like, prosthetics, like a hand or an arm oh, or a leg thing. that is, like, a rubbery thing that you can tattoo on. Uh, but there was this, I don't know what those cats are called, but the hairless cats. Is it a sphinx or... You know, uh, you know no, the yeah, hairless know cats. You mean. Yeah, they look uh, evil as fuck. Uh, but there was one of those that Nuka you could buy. Them. Yeah, yeah, the same that Nuka has. The, exactly. They're called. What the fuck are they called now? I can't call Siamese? No. No. Not Siamese no, 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 cats? No, that's not no. it. It doesn't matter. You probably know which one I'm talking about. Oh, uh, uh, there we go. A Rex cat? A Rex cat? I don't know what a Rex cat is. Uh, but it was one of those that you could tattoo on. Like, and what? I just immediately was like, I need this. That is awesome. It's so cool. Especially the cat impact on social media. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody loves cats. Meow. Hashtag kitty cat. <laughs> Oh, I meant... Call me kick. I meant, I, meant, I meant pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag tattoo my pussy. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> you can use that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Sphinx. Ah, I fucking said yes. That's what he go. said, yeah. Cool. Thanks, but okay. Yeah. Uh, so I was going to get it. Like, I said to the guy. Yeah, it was a Danish guy selling them. I was like, yeah, if I get a job today, I'll buy it. And then I got a job, but I had to work. (laughs) (laughs) Worst deal ever. (laughs) So I had to, yeah, I worked until closing, so Uh I wasn't able. Let's see. So that sucked, but I really wanted it. I had a lot of cool ideas starting, like, going nuts on it. Going nuts on the pussy. Yeah, sorry. That was a little bit of a That is a terrible. Yeah, don't go nuts on the pussy. Yeah, no, let's not hashtag that at all. No, you teabag mouths, not pussies. What? There you go. <laughs> yes, we're moving on. <laughs> Sketch figure is moving on. Uh, we're very tired and uh, apparently very dirty minded. Um, yeah, sweaty. Sweaty as fuck. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry for the derail. Uh, we were talking about music. And were we? Yeah, yeah. I think. <laughs> also, Fall Out Boy. <laughs> yeah, I would recommend everyone create like you did the the lift the pen. Uh, Playlist. Like, mm-hmm. playlists are the shit. Have, I have, like, 40 of them. Yeah. They're I, not all, like, for drawing. They're for different things. I have, like, one called Mood Swinger, and it's just pretty much the soundtrack from Supernatural. Nice. You know, like, mm-hmm. just classic rock songs that Carry get... On my way, that song, but, you know, like, <laughs> song pitched well. correctly. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I can't say it. No, I love it, dude. That is exactly what the sketchbook here is, is all about. But then I have one called, uh, shit, what was it called? I don't remember. But it was like 80-something. And it was just, I need a hero. Oh, fuck yes. I'm calling out you a hero to me. He's got to be strong. And then we also had, Top Gun. Danger Zone. Yeah. Highway to the Danger Zone. Kenny Lodgins, my Kenny friends. Kenny Lodgins. <laughs> yes, I have done a script <laughs> routine to it. The well, dangerous piece, yeah. Mm-hmm. So those songs, even though they are sort of like '80s and a bit cheesy, even Eye of the Tiger, you know, it doesn't really Dude, matter. But that never gets old. <laughs> but, I, but I think it's like it's really important. Like the way I try to approach life, like I think I started when I got a bit older, mm. like 27 plus. <laughs> I started trying to use emotion to sort of motivate me to do things. Yeah. So when I find a song 
I don't just listen to the song like, oh. <laughs> no, I try to use that energy for something. Yeah. It, it, it could be just to, you know, do the dishes if it's that, oh, if yeah, that's yeah, yeah. what it is. Just like, I can't just do the dishes because that is like wasting life. Fuck but if yes. I can do it by listening to a mm-hmm. podcast, listen to music, anything that can sort of trigger, because I, I, I'm a person that, like some people, their mind is like so, like they can just trigger like, ideas you know like and they draw shit and mm-hmm. it works for them for me i need something you know yeah and yeah music does that and music me, does yeah. that for me as well mm-hmm. and movies like movies that i sort of like i try to use all those like training it gives me something i use yeah. it for drawing yeah music gives me something i use that for drawing my kids like fuck with your head and like you know emotions i use that mm and I think it's important to, like, every time you get... Because we, we talk about waiting for motivation and inspiration to hit. Yeah. No, just fucking use... There's so much in your exactly. life that is awesome. Yeah. But you could sort of, like, you could take that energy into something else. And I think it's, like... I haven't really reflected on it until we started this podcast. Yeah. But that's what I do. Like, when I watch a movie that is, like... I watch Logan mm. that we watched, like, last year or earlier this year, whenever earlier the fuck it this was. Year. Yeah. 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 The thing is, when I watch a movie like that, oh, yeah, this guy with the claws stabbing everyone, I fucking cried because I let myself, you know, get involved in the whole, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. story, you know. And I think that's something I wouldn't. Much, I think. <laughs> yeah, no, but, but in the past, I yeah. would sort of, like, just watch the movie <coughs> and then sort of, like, hold back a bit. Mm-hmm. And I did that with a lot of things. Instead of yeah. just, like, just go all in. Yeah. Watch this movie for what it is. Like it I just... did when I watched E.T. when I was six, you know. Yeah. Like, then I couldn't even hold it back, you know. No, it was of just course like... not. But My mom came in, she's like, are you okay? And I was like... <laughs> I was like, yeah. Scream, screaming, crying. <laughs> the worst thing is, that wasn't even my first time I watched it, you know. Like, this was, like, the third, fourth time and I was still, like, crying every time E.T. died. Like, I knew he was coming. Dumbo, same thing. I knew he was fucking coming back. Yeah. yeah. But, oh, Dumbo, dude. Don't yeah, get me wrong. Bambi, I, or... Dude, I watched Dumbo with my daughter. And when he when he's like outside her like carriage, you know the mom. Fucking Christ! Still man. fucking yeah, I can yeah, still, oh, I can still I can, like when yeah, she's just like they're touching, you know they're. Uh, Stop! Not talk about this. <laughs> that's, oh, oh, man. Man, it's it's so sad. Yeah. yeah, but I think it's the it's, same it's, with it's, music. Yeah, like, but th- that's the mm-hmm. same. That's why I listen to like Lana Del Rey that song that I can't remember what the fuck it's called, but she has one song, which is someone covers it way better than she does. Mm-hmm. But that song, man, like, I just listened to it over and over because mm. it was so fucking good. Yeah. Like, you know, like, it brings, like, whether I like the genre or not, that music spoke to me. Yeah. I listened to it. I listened the fuck out of it. And yeah. then I get it out of my system. But while I have it, let's say I can listen to it for a day mm. before it starts to sort of die out. Yeah, then yeah. I can visit it, like, a couple of days later and, like, yeah. oh, yeah, that song. And then I can listen mm-hmm. to it for half a day and then you sort of get it out, you know. But it's, like, while I have it, I will use it. Oh, yeah. use the fuck out of it. Yeah, I have that. It's uh, it's Birdie with Sigma, and the song is called Find Me. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Like, it's one of those songs, I just keep looping it, and it never gets old. And it that's, uh, again, it's one of those songs that gets shit done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's also very, like, emotionally, I'm very emotionally attached to it. So, like, you, uh, it's just a lot of things happening inside my head, and it sort of helps me create new stuff. That's it's amazing. Awesome. Yeah. So check it out. Very and regarding good. that, you reminded me the Swedish band that I was referring to previously, mm-hmm. that doesn't have a lot of songs out, but was called Grand Theft Culture. Grand Theft Culture. Oh uh, yeah. That's, <laughs> I I just heard one nice. song on the radio. They they have like six seven songs out, but it's not a full album. It's like a like a you know like a I don't know. They had like four or five songs out. That wasn't a full album, but... I'm adding them as we speak. Grand Theft Culture was awesome. And they they have, like, just a touch of that music style that I never remember. Skrillex. Oh, dubstep. Dubstep. God damn it. I, I just, like, drum and bass is what comes to mind every time, you know, like, I don't know why. Yeah, so dubstep. They have, like, this touch of dubstep. Nice. But, but just to summarize this episode, sort of, like, just to... It's not only about music. It's pretty much like an afterthought for this episode, but just try to use every instance in your life that's giving you something and use it to boost something in your life. You know, whether it be your training, your drawings, no matter what it is, try to 
use all the tools that you can. Don't have like, oh, but I only like this thing, or I only like... Don't limit yourself to... Hell you know, no. Like, Hell no. Like, there's so much music out there that we will never, ever be able to listen to. And thank like, God, Green yeah. Day will be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, actually, my old boss got punched in the face by uh, the singer in Green Day. Thank God, <laughs> but it should have been the other way around. Yeah, he's a nice guy, Andreas. Sorry, dude. Uh, yeah, what else can we say? Um, I can just do a little step back. I mean, we mentioned this in one of the other episodes, but a nice little challenge or fun thing to do is, like, if you have a favorite song... You send that song to your friend, and your friend has to create a piece or a drawing from that song. Didn't we mention this yeah. at some point? Yeah, right? that's yeah, what yeah, I said. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. But it's a fun little like little game, and I think it was uh, my friends Oscar and Andreas from uh, Eskilstuna, the town where I studied, who started doing this. So they like kept sending each other like one song, and they had to listen to that song only while creating mm -hmm. the piece. And then it was the next guy's turn, and they kept doing it. Uh, but I thought it was a really fun game, and I've done it a couple of times, and it really is fun. Like, uh, dude, I've we've never done it. We should. No, do no, it. no. I have a really hard time. I've tried, like, sort of translating songs into image. Mm. It doesn't work it for me. Like, your I don't brain know. Yeah, be yeah. Creative. I. Th but but the only time that I I have an image in my head. And I think it's the White Buffalo again that I talked about. Mm -hmm. There's a song called Dirt Bikes and BB Guns or something oh, yeah, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember and you that told me song, about that one. He, he just talks to. about these, like, kids that live, you know, like, together. They grow up together. They have their bikes. They're between, like, 6 and 11 years old. Mm -hmm. And these new kids move into, like, some turf. And they, they're, like, they sneak out at the dead of night to sort of, like... Uh, like retaliate against these kids moving into their territory the but turf. they're all very small with the dirt bikes and bb guns you know mm -hmm. and they were like uh, if they sneak out they're all afraid you know but they're still gonna do it and oh man that song really reminds me of my homeless kids thing yeah that, yeah yeah so i see them like on the dirt bikes you know but without the parents and everything yeah but, the, but you see but I haven't really been of... able to sort of translate it, like, visually onto paper, though. Yeah. Like, you know, I can't... Tr that is the hard part for me. Yeah. Like, really getting it down. Oh, well, yeah, I saw Korn uh, the other week. Oh, I didn't, I didn't Girona Lund? Yeah. It was pretty cool, because... Dude, everyone I know was there. Yeah, same here, but I didn't see anybody. I think Artem was there as well. Like, I yeah, I think he, he Matthias was there. Fuck uh, Andy at work, I think, was there as well. Like, everyone. Like, my Instagram was like, Korn, 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 Korn. Yeah. I only I posted on Facebook, but um, it was really cool because Corn was one of those bands that sort of made you know made me go from normal rock to harder rock. Mm -hmm. Oh, it wasn't Panther. No, no, no. Corn was before Panthera, right? Yeah, yeah. Corn was before Panthera, and from Corn came Slipknot, and then Panthera came because I got to go see them. Like oh. I hadn't even I didn't really know who they were. I was like fourteen, maybe. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it was really cool because it was the first time I got to see Corn now, and it just brought oh, back like the dude. total nostalgia. I was never was into Corn. I don't know why. Uh, I like I love their older stuff. Yeah. I, their newer is uh, not really yeah, my not, cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I mean, they're still they're still rocking. Mm -hmm. and it was just amazing him coming out with his fucking bagpipes, doing oh, uh, shoots shit. and ladders from the first album. I don't remember. Amazing, you know. I fucking got to see that. It was so cool. Uh, but yeah, I just forgot to mention that uh, last episode, or last last episode even. Uh, so, yes. But do you now. have any band sort of that is like, you might not listen to it all the time now, but do you have one band that sort of sticks out out of like all of them, you know, like like a band that you can sort of go back to every now and then, just like often? It's always going to be Slipknot. It is uh, Slipknot. Uh, yeah, okay. it's uh, Slipknot for me is just, I don't know. They, they've stuck by me so long too and they, mm -hmm. they're still going and like and they're still doing good music or for me at least I really yeah, 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 totally really love band. it uh, so that yeah that band for me will just always be really close to my heart um, do I have anything else that I normally go back to Freebird by Leonard Skinner is like one of the most epic songs in yep. in history of everything. So that's really cool. I also like heart. the other one. Oh shit, what is it called? Well, mama told me when I was young. 
Same artist. Yeah. Oh. Don't ever find me here, my only son. It's probably called Only Son. No. <laughs> it's know. called Holy Dicks. No. That's There's not what even it's a, no, no, it's not called that. <laughs> Simple Man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple Man. God damn it. That's good. I think uh, I have it on Rock Band too. <laughs> yeah, I play drums in Rock Band. Mm-hmm. I'm super famous. Uh, but yeah, what about you? Any super bands that always that no, you can always go back to? Not really. Like my music tastes, like I I can still listen to them. I really loved Silverchair for a while. Mm-hmm. I even loved their newer stuff, except the last one, Young Modern. I did not like that CD. But there was something about that band before his. Well, well, he did have mental illness like through it all. Like most. But of them, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, but I uh, no, I don't have anything in particular. Like I really like it when the. Like, we talked about Fall Out Boy, for example. It is good, but it's also, like, it's not... Like, sometimes I just want something that is a bit more grown up. You know, like, it's still sort of, like, it's not as... I don't know. I want the voice to sort of be more grown. Mm. Like, a good sort of, like, a person that reads you, like, a fairy tale sort of, like, you know, like, this, like, burlier sort but of... that's because we're grown up now. I know. No, but I still yeah. love that other stuff, like Fall Out Boy and stuff. But, you know, like, sometimes I just want something a bit more on the serious note. Mm-hmm. And that's more like listening to an audiobook with a good narrator. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. The, if anyone has listened to The Dark Tower that I've mentioned before, um, yeah, that na- narrator that reads the book but would have been totally first... different. No, no, he reads them all. He does? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Uh, so, oh, yeah, that was Skullduggery. Yeah, Skullduggery Pleasant switches on the third book or something, you know, and it ruins all of it. Yeah, and he was so it. good. Like the yeah, first yeah, the one. first mm-hmm. guy. He built Builds up a character, and then on the third or fourth book, they switch him out. Yeah. And it just changes the whole dynamic of Skullduggery. All mm. this sort of timing and everything disappears. Fuck. And this other guy creates another Skullduggery, which is fine if you want to complete this saga, but it's sort of like the transition is too blunt or yeah. like too yeah. rough. It's like when they switched out Dumbledore in the Harry Potter movies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that, like, or it's switched just, out. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. died. He died, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it was just so wrong. It's not too soon, is it? But then he was good, because then he got used to it. Yeah, yeah. and I uh, think that's the thing as well. Yeah, and I want to say, uh, because I just remembered, but NoFX was really big. I remember you listening to NoFX. I really tried, but Mm. it was just like Uh, too much for me. Yeah, but it was like the whole skateboarding, no-printing thing. No, then then I I prefer like Melancholin and that other stuff. too, all of that. But NoFX was so big, like... It was no effects and Slipknot. Those were like my two. But you know what song from that era sort of stuck with me though? Here I am doing everything I can, oh, yeah. holding on Black. to what I have. Black wagon. Pretending yeah, I'm a Superman. Because that song was on Tony Hawk Pro Skater one yes. of me, the first game, and Fuck, it was like yes. I remember skating, and I always had the same character. I don't remember his name. <laughs> the guy with the backpack, or maybe they several. Of them oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh fuck. Who was he? Um, he? Chad Muska. Chad Muska. Yeah, exactly. I always chose him. Yes. And, oh, dude, just like, <laughs> and the warehouse. I think I love the warehouse yeah. or something like that. And I just like had that Fuck. song on. Yes. Oh, dude. Oh, bringing back memories now. Fuck. And, and that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Tying music to emotion, to memories. There's an energy there created that is so easy to incorporate in whatever the fuck you're doing. So, yeah, I'm, I would I'm really just recommend adding it. lag wagon. The worst thing about listening to all these old songs, you know what it is? That when you listen to them, they feel so rich in your head, and then you listen, and they're sort of like there's nothing going on. You know what I mean? Yeah, they yeah, feel yeah. a bit empty. <laughs> like, Linkin Park, when they came out back in the day, they had this sort of, like, they felt rough, you know, like, they felt hard. You, I could work out to them. Now, when I listen to them, like, forfeit the game before somebody else takes you out of the frame, it doesn't have that same impact. It just feels like, meh, you know. Why? Whereas some other songs still have, like, a bit of that, I don't know. You started listening to heavier stuff, you know, because Linkin Park was never a heavy... Mm-hmm. Well, it was heavy. Uh, no, it wasn't. No, but heavy. it was rap core, you know, yeah. like it was like rap sort of... I remember rock. like really dissing them. I remember Eric like... Yeah, Eric he, actually he turned me in. over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I was like... <laughs> he was like, yo, you need to listen to this band. They're fucking awesome. And I was into like Limp Biscuit. Oh, Limp Biscuit. Oh, shit, dude. I never I'm did like, Limp Biscuit. Linkin Park, this is fucking shit, you know. And then 
maybe two weeks later, I was like, Linkin Park is the fucking shit, yeah, man. Yeah, I was totally into them. <laughs> like, the first two albums, I trained so much of them. I even mm. had, like, a boxing, like, little boxing gym at the museum that I used to sort of clean. So mm. they had this little, like, boxing... Like, they had the... the, the what, if, what the fuck do you call it? Um, boxing bag. Yeah, sandbag. Sandbag, yeah. They had the bag, and they had, like, some weights. And I used to work out there every day, you know, like, listening to that little piece of shit stereo that they had, I just put it in my Linkin Park and nice. <laughs> it just worked out. So it's <laughs> tied to memories and we okay. got a comment. We got a comment. We got a comment. Sorry for being so antisocial with my telephone. No, 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 but we, we need to, oh, yeah. really you did weird stuff. Yeah, I just but here to add. Uh, Bouquet said Apex or is it Apex? Apex. Or uh, Apex? Apex Twin. Apex Ooh, Twin, yeah. Fuck yeah. Ooh, I haven't listened so to them. I think. Uh, they have a great song. What's it called? Mirror or something? No. <laughs> Fuck it. No, Miss Ninja okay. Cookie. Yay! Tony Hawk. Only PS game I ever played and loved. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was me after I broke my back the whole oh, summer. Oh, shit. Yeah, that just was, playing yeah. that fucking game. Yeah. Getting my skateboard on in mm-hmm. my bedroom. But yeah, Apex Twin is... Uh, or Twins, I think. Apex, yeah, Apex Twins. Twins, yeah. Uh, fuck, I don't remember that one song. Uh... I think it was actually Eric who played it for me in uh, in Australia when I was there. So that sort of has a lot of uh, Australia memories. Nice. So I need to find that one too. Shit. Too much memories now. Mm-hmm. Not good. Oh, oh, yeah. So, yeah, that was that. Uh, do we have any uh, recommendations? Uh, the Dark Tower, should we recommend? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, guys. Uh, wrapping that up. Use the energy given to you the emotional thingies and all of it that you get through music and everything else in life use that to like ramp up your art mm. i guess is yeah that's really pretty what, much what we're saying what we're saying yeah. uh create playlists that you can use for different moods mm. so you don't have to actually make playlists because that takes forever yeah so do them you know like when you have like non-drawing time yeah yeah very much but yeah Fuck that shit. Moving on to recommendations and hitting Robert's mic again. Yay. Oh, Let's go. Uh, yeah, so today's recommendation. Oh, wait, wait. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so today's recommendation. What are we recommending today, Elias? What are we recommending? <laughs> I'm trying to think. What have I bought it? What have you bought it? What did you I bought, bought it? Well, you bought the, 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 the One Punch Man thing that you mentioned last yes, time. Yes, I did, yes. And... Uh, I did buy. Oh, we did recommend. Them. I can recommend this one. It's kind of, it's pretty cool. It's uh, another one of those DC uh, animated movies. Mm. It's called Vixen. It's oh. one of their superheroes. Uh, I know the name is a bit weird, but it's uh, it's a superhero or a superhero s, <laughs> mm. a, a female superhero. That I had never heard about, and she's got really cool powers. So she has like an amulet. That, uh, like, if she thinks of an animal, she gets the power of the animal. Mm. So if she wants to climb walls, Brave she thinks stuff. of a spider, and she can climb the walls. If she jumps off a building, she thinks of an eagle, and she can fly, get the strength of the gorilla or something. Yes, Brave Star, very much. That's uh, exactly what I mean. But he only had, like, a limited... T- it was set. three or four, right? Strength Man. of the puma, bear, uh, strength wolf. of the bear, puma. Uh, yeah, he had eagle as well, I think. You could see, like... Yeah, fa- falcon, maybe. I don't I remember. Saw hawk. Hawk. Yes. That was it. Puma, bear, hawk. So good. What was the horse's name? He had, like, a weird name. Bronco or something. No. <laughs> but, yeah, it's also weird. A nah. horse that turns into a man horse. A mecha horse, Cy- cyborg mecha horse, cyborg with a mecha big horse shotgun thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, uh, Vixen. Uh, it's a um, like you can probably download it somewhere. Uh, mm-hmm. I did not recommend that. Sorry, I take it back. Uh, but I bought it. It's um, it's like a mini series almost. So it's what could it be? Maybe two hours long or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, like so, you get to see mm-hmm. how she gets her power and blah blah blah. Uh, but it was really good. I liked it. Uh, that, so I guess that's my recommendation for this week. Mm-hmm. Vixen. My recommendation this week would be uh, Suicide Squad. 
<laughs> I still haven't seen it. Never gonna see it. You have to see no, it. No, but it, when, when my fever reaches like 40 degrees something plus, I will watch it. Yeah, That's how I did with Superman. You're probably gonna like it then. <laughs> That's why I watch them. Like, I fall asleep a bit, you know, wake also. up. I'm like, oh, I have to go back. And then you just don't care. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I have nothing this week. I haven't done anything. Like, everything I've seen. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hitman. Oh, yeah. That the, thing. Me. The I Hitman's saw it bodyguard. actually. Like, yeah, Hitman's Bodyguard is actually... Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson. Like, it's exactly where you expect it to be, but that's also where it sort of wins. <laughs> like, everything that you would see in an action movie is in this movie. Nice. Uh, if you expect them to, like, oh, this is going to happen when they... That's exactly what happens. <laughs> but the best thing I here... I love movies like that. Like, uh, seriously. But I love crappy like movies. Like, Samuel L. Jackson and Ryan Reynolds in this movie, they sell the... Perf- like... They do, you know, like, this, like, 90s thing where you just, like, you have this fun banter. Is it like a Last Boy Scout sort of thing? Sort of thing, but this one is, like, more over the top than mm-hmm. that ever was. This is, like, it feels like a parody, but it's not, you know, it's not a scary movie, like, type of crap. No, no. But, but it's still, like, everything is over the top. So they're, it, like, spoofing off of uh, action movies, almost. Yeah, ex- they're taking the genre and doing exactly what you expect with it, plus the fun stuff, the, nice. the dialogue. And, you know, Ryan Reynolds has these, like, monologues with himself, like, about Samuel L. Jackson, like, this guy single-handedly ruined the word motherfucker, you know, <laughs> and he's, like, talking to this bartender that's hiding <laughs> <laughs> because there is a shootout and everything. Like, it's just, like... Small little scenes, the interaction between Samuel L. Jackson, which is also, like, an awesome actor that can sell this tough guy shit. Yeah. And it's just over-the-top action, funny lines, and then just, like, <laughs> cray cray. Bouquet's recommendation. Yeah, yeah on the oh, fuck yeah. Apex Twins. Apex Twins. Very good. Um, so, yeah, Hitman's Bodyguard was fun. also won the tickets by raising my hand at the cinema when I was <laughs> watching Valerian. Nice. So uh, that was free. Yeah. <laughs> but I, that I one really was see it. but that one was worth the money, whereas the Dark Tower, I would wipe my ass with it if it was toilet paper. Okay, good. Because it was oh, so bad. But yeah, I really respect Samuel L. Jackson, actually, because he's one of those actors that really doesn't give a shit what anybody else thinks. He does movies that he wants to do, period. Like, but that's the, all he... If he's, like, snakes on a plane, who the fuck... <laughs> who the fuck in their right mind would actually do that movie? Samuel L. Jackson because he liked the script but you know what the best <laughs> thing is uh, as an actor Samuel L. Jackson is a very sort of like focused actor mm-hmm. he just reads the script you know does all the things and Ryan Reynolds is a bit more relaxed you know oh, like yeah. that Im- and in this movie they're just switched you know like Samuel oh, okay. L. Jackson is the one that doesn't give a shit mm-hmm. whereas Ryan Reynolds is like he gives a shit about everything and he has this plan and you know like oh it's so good it was very funny. It's very enjoyable. Like, if you watch it for what it is, like, over-the-top expected action movie with fun dialogue, what? that's what you're going to get. It's a fun trip. It kind of reminds me of the movie but Safe. Have you seen Safe? that one? With Ryan Reynolds and Denzel Washington? No. I it's, don't think it's, so, at It's least. pretty good, actually. It's good. You should watch it. It's sort of the same thing, but a bit more of a twist. But yeah, very good. Uh, any other questions? Before yes. We wrap have up? you seen Train to Busan or Bus- Busan? No, I, I have not. I it was long ago I since I enjoyed a zombie movie. So that's bouquet. Train to is what? Is that a zombie movie? Yeah. We should watch Train it. To Busan. I fuck. I recognize the name. And also, we need to do the Sketchbook Heroes. Watch a super crappy movie. Hell yeah! So Sketchbook Hero shit flick. <laughs> I like that. That's nice. Uh, we, <laughs> this is the thing that we did at work, a shit flick Friday thing, but we'll do a sketchbook hero shit flick thingy. Yeah. Where we're gonna put on a movie, we're gonna tell you guys what movie it is. We're gonna film us since we can't show the movie. Mm-hmm. So you, we're just gonna say like, one, two, three, play or something, and then you guys turn put on the movie. We'll put on the movie, and, and we'll uh, talk. Yeah. yeah we'll, and we'll just sit and laugh and comment on the thing. Exactly. So you you guys are watching it, we are watching it, and we'll just have a dialogue and just laugh and, you know, yeah. have a good time. <laughs> and watch something, like, totally ridiculous. Yes. Yeah. We're not going to spoil which movie it is because we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> but there are tons of great ones. Like, there's, like, this Robo Shark versus, you know, like... Well, all the versus some, ones. Yeah, all the versus <laughs> ones. 
And then they have they have like the regular versus one, like Anaconda versus I don't know Cat. Piranhosaurus <laughs> Rex or whatever the fuck it is. And then they have one version where they're both robots mm-hmm. and you they know, just like, keep mm. evolving. But they're like Digimon. It is. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like Mecha Shark versus Werewolf Nader. Samurai I don't know. Gorilla. Yeah, but that's robots. pretty much what I mean. <laughs> Well that one we need to watch. Yeah. The Samurai Cop movie. Oh man. The old one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old one, I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, and then they the had a Kickstarter. Age. Yeah, and then they have a Kickstarter for the... <laughs> Man, we were just going one. nuts here. Yeah, so <laughs> we're going to have that. Uh, we're going to post a date so you all can be in on it. We'll do it sort of like either before or after the podcast. Yeah. Like, we'll book a time for it and just have it on. Yeah. And then, obviously, I mean, it's going to be saved, too, so you can watch it later, too. Well, we should set a date for that, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd, that'd be, be really fun, fun to right? have, like, a more... A big event. So we'll, we'll book it like a couple of weeks in advance just mm. to have like a date. And then we'll sort of remind everyone every now and then that it's happening. Fuck yeah. Invite your friends. Yeah. Buy the movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the thing is, these movies aren't very expensive. So no, it's actually... and most of them are actually on um, YouTube as well. Yes, they're as, usually as on well. YouTube for free. <laughs> so if you want to support Asylum... Just buy them. Yeah. <laughs> they make super tons cheap. of these, like, super crappy movies. They're not very expensive. They're fun. It's actually... Two bucks. <laughs> I think this is, like, a, like a movie industry that's pretty fun to support as well. Mm. It's, like, independent. They're not always independent. But, you know, like, it's not... Like, these movies cost between, like... A, like, just a couple hundred thousand dollars to make instead of, like, 12 million, a billion, you know, like, oh, it's yeah, not... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fucking Infinity War. One Dude, billion yeah, dollars. Insanity. One billion dollars. Like, it's so. like a fucking Austin Powers movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to that. I don't know if you guys have seen the the leaked trailer. I don't watch leaked trailers. Holy shitballs, man. Mwah. Infinity. Yeah. Like, <laughs> nerdgasm doesn't even come close to but what I had. But is it probably good? Huh? On the trailer? No. Oh, it's oh, shit. I would never watch that. <laughs> you can still see it, everything, though. Like, I, could, I couldn't I could not watch it. I had to. But it looks amazing. Like, pretty much every fucking character you've ever seen in every Marvel movie mm-hmm. is in this movie. Dude. Yeah. I'm looking for Dude. Thor Ragnarok this yes. right now. Oof, October. Like it's, I think that's going to be, like, yes. over-the-top shit as well. Yes. In the... In, in the all the right ways. ways. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I hope so. Plus, I love Chris Hemsworth. I know him! <laughs> We're friends, friends from work! <laughs> <laughs> Chris Hemsworth. I also yeah. saw Ghostbusters, the, the new one. The this female weekend. version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. okay. Like, they could have done sold. more with it, but it was like, it, it's an okay watch. Like, it's nothing I would rewatch, yeah. but... No, I like, I didn't enjoy it. But I, I didn't have the expectations. I, I just love the cameos that they had, sort mm. of. And they, Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, and Chris Hemsworth. He did the best right. fucking character. But I would sort of love... Like, they could have done so much with that. But I don't know. It felt, like, rushed fast. Like, the characters never really came into their own. No, no. And I agree. And plus, I mean... Well, not all of them, but half of the crew are, like... They're, they're good friends, and they've done a lot no, of movies yeah, exactly. together. together, so. yeah. They should have a really good chemistry, but it's just something I, I, missing. Yeah, there, it wasn't coming off no. like on the screen. And, and I wanted it to be more of the the bridesmaid type of I vibe. I haven't seen that. Oh, you should I see heard that. really good things it's about it. Maria. It's so Re- good, man. It's like it's even better than The Hangover. Like oh, really? Yeah, I prefer it. I think it's okay. Way, way, way more fun. And something that I noticed, like when we watched Baby Driver, mm-hmm. was the lack of computer graphics. Yes. Oh my god. Thank you. Whoever I love it. Was Edward or Exa- there there are probably <laughs> things there, subtle things, just for effect, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't like, oh, we're just going to green screen the whole thing. No. Because like, I I couldn't thinking back, I can't yeah. think of one thing that was like No, no, neither can I. Like it probably some scenes were like to get some weird angles or something, you know, like but it's yeah. like Oh yeah, I think uh, I know one scene. Yeah, but I think yeah. what I enjoyed the most was the lack of mm. cuz there's something about all the movies right now. They're over the top CG, you know, like CGI, and it's I'm not enjoying all of it. No, you know, like it's too much. It's too much, yeah. And when you watch a movie like this, it feels like you're watching a movie that is sort of like there's some there's craft behind CGI as well, yeah. but it's 
you see that it's CGI. You know what I mean? Even yeah. the good CGI is still like it's CGI. You know, like you can tell. Somebody that actually utilizes it perfectly is, is Game of Thrones. Like, I haven't seen anything. Dude, like, I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys. Uh, but, but everyone I, does. Yeah, <laughs> I, I saw the, the last episode of uh, this season. Uh, and wow. Like, really? Holy shit. It's amazing. But uh, the way they animate, like, the dragons and stuff yeah. is, is so... Like, really? it's, it's up there with the best animated movies. And it's a TV show. I remember, like, weren't the dragons in Harry Potter pretty good as well? Like, they were am I remembering good, that wrong? Like, from, like, they came compared out Compared to ago. Game of Thrones, they're shit. <laughs> like, the Game of Thrones dragons look amazing. Sweet. And you even have people, like, climbing on them and riding them. And they make it look good. Really? Yes. God damn. Like, you, yeah, you need to really yeah, you need to catch up. But yeah. I'm going to wait until the last season is sort of out. So, yeah. And then I'm going to start watching it. Man, wow. But, yeah. That's all I can say. I mean, for you guys listening at home, it's been a week. But for you guys watching this, yeah, you watch it. Watch it now. Don't don't be a slacker. Mini mouth. <laughs> Mini mouth. Mouth. Mini mouth. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, what that. Oh yeah, those Simpsons. Simpsons. <laughs> I mean the rope. <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Mini mouth. <laughs> I don't uh, remember the no, reference at no, all. Like, I've never, I just, it's, just, it's the Simpsons <laughs> climbing rope at the gym. Like point, point. Yeah, yeah, but something like, like pushing, something with yeah. a stick. Like, tuk, tuk. Yeah. Oh man. So uh, you comment or just it was toy doll. Toy doll. Okay, so this was oh yeah, they released an American love action version of Death Note. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, a live yeah. action. Yeah, I was it's like love of, action. <laughs> did, they, did they release that today? I have no I, idea. I just saw the trailer on Netflix. Not a fan, but I heard it should be good. Okay. I really didn't enjoy Death Note the show. No, I was I was a bit back and forth. I, I tried. I saw like three episodes of it. Okay, yeah, I've seen the whole thing. Oh. Um, so obviously <gasps> I I watched it. God damn it! But um, the comments. Ooh. Disappearing. Um, I liked it, but it was very slow. Exactly. And, yeah, but I do appreciate stuff like that too. Um, not sure what to think about the live action version because normally they suck a lot. Like the Rudoni Kenshin. Yeah, for example. Or uh, Attack on Titan. I have not seen it. Oh, that could be Ooh, one of those. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to qualify. I don't think it's going to be like bad fun. I think it's just going to be bad, bad uh, angry, like yeah. Dark Tower. Yeah. But Asian. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. it was an Asian production, right? Yeah. The yeah, Attack yeah. on Titan. Yeah. Uh, what was the comment? Was it just no, it was just battle. nothing. Yeah. Battle. Uh, but yeah. Are we wrapping up? We're wrapping up. Because we have been bl- 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 blabbing. Blabbling. Yes. Blabbling for too long. We're super, super tired. Yes. This is so the second. Sweaty. You, oh, you oh yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah this, <laughs> fucking melting. Blah. Yeah, it's super steamy in here. We're getting all cozy oh, yeah. and shiny. Uh, we should, like, put makeup on. Yeah, we should. We'll do that later. Later. Yeah. After the show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when we're going out. Out on town. Uh, <gasps> <Next today>. thank, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Love you, girl. Um, anything else we need to say before we wrap up? No. Wait, well, what's after? Uh, oh yeah, Comic Con is coming up soon. Um, we have a surprise. Listening, yes. We're gonna try at least. So uh, <laughs> yeah, for all you guys planning on going, you should. It's gonna be. Uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty epic. It's going to be cool. <laughs> it's going to be cool. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be there in the flesh. So if you want to come and, uh, you know, meet and greet, talk to us, or punch us, I don't know, something. Yeah. Look for uh, the Sketchbook Heroes logo for somewhere. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to be there um, with the... Walking around. All our gusto. Maybe drawing, maybe working, maybe Everything. just... Yeah, <laughs> breakdancing, I don't know. I'm very good at breakdancing. He is, actually, yeah. Looks like a total moron, and he's practiced for years. Nails it. <laughs> no, that, that's the best thing. Like people that don't dance think I dance. Thanks, you guys. Yeah. Good night and sleep tight. Uh, yeah. Stay if, tight. <laughs> stay tight. Yes. Toit, 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 like a toy. What did you, you had? Like a thing that you used to say. 
stay true, stay you. Stay Holy true. shit, you expect a t-shirt? I only have two and they're terrible. The, the, they've totally lost their thing. Really? Yeah, that's because you chose the wrong material. Mine mm -hmm. is still very good. No, no, the, the, the print is good, the t-shirts are not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I say uh, good morning, good day, good night. Uh, Go fuck good. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> good something. <laughs> Th guys, Something. thanks for tuning in to this super, 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 super slow episode about music and babbling. Uh, that's what we should have called this. <laughs> babbling about music. Babbling about music. Sketchbook yeah. Heroes babbling. About music. Yeah. And other stuff. So remember what we said before. Use the energy. Yes. Use doing whatever the fuck you're doing. Precisely. So if you're taking a poop, use that energy, I guess. Yeah, I do. Every morning. Every morning. Yeah. Ah, that's your routine. Oh, yeah. That yeah. shit. The blister exists. I think <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm super tired. Good night. Good night. We love you guys. Love We're you. We super appreciate. Press the like button. God damn it. Who's yeah. that fourth person that hasn't yeah. pressed yeah. the like button? It just feels wrong in my soul. Everybody's leaving. Yeah. Guys. Like it, you like. No. We yeah. love you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for staying with us this whole long ass fucking Sweaty ass. Time. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Uh, but appreciate the fuck oh, out of everybody. Four. four. And then we get Fifth another. Oh! Yes, fuck yeah. Six likes. Woo. Five awesome. people in the chat, six likes. We win. <laughs> you made our night. Yes, Thank you so much. Likes. Holy shit. We're Holy climbing, man. I'm not I'm not stopping this. No. I'm just gonna wait. So Have keep... your f nah. <laughs> Awesome guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, thank you guys for making our uh, so good. Thanks for making our day. Yeah. Awesome. And for sticking with us through this and, super uh, sweaty episode. <laughs> yeah, and all the other ones. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for more awesomeness. Uh, I'll come back from uh, come back from Finland uh -huh. and uh, tell you guys how that was. Yeah, and also if you have feedback about how we could sort of set up the podcast, the the visual the, podcast yeah, to make it more fun for you guys, because it when we rewatch these, it's like welcome to schedule. Art is fun. We <laughs> like to draw. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I try to smile bigger now because yeah, try to like do normally gestures I smile like this. and stuff. But yeah, if you have feedback, just comment them below or you know yeah, reach well, out and on thing on thing Instagram Instagram Insta thing yeah or write us an email yeah or anything hate, hate mail or whatever. All anthrax go to Ilias. Uh, all his, money, uh, yeah. all money in anthrax to this guy. <laughs> yes. All penis pictures to that and guy. And gas mask. To uh, this guy. To this guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We're tired. Super tired. Super See love you. you. <laughs> Super love you. Super love you. Bye bye.